Today is a really exciting day because I am going to be building all of my upper head cabinets, hopefully, and installing them too. These cabinets are going to be absolutely crazy. You can see I've already been working a little bit because I'm covered in sawdust. The upper head cabinets are going to be sort of L-shaped. This is really rare in a van. You don't see it often and I can't figure out why. Yesterday I got this really big piece cut. It's going to be what you see when you open the back doors. I have these sidewall pieces that will butt up perpendicularly to the sidewall. Building cabinets in a van is actually pretty easy. All you need is a pocket hole jig, pocket hole screw, impact with the bit on it, and then a drill with this Craig micro jig. And of course, a tape measure and pencil. The hard part is conceptualizing. I'm a very visual learner, so I'm going to start assembling these cabinets, even though they're nowhere near done, just to help me figure out what missing pieces. I am doing faceless cabinets, which means there's very little room for error. I have all of my verticals cut. I'm pretty much ready to start assembling the thing. My contact adhesive, this guy, because it's gonna get really, really toxic. This is my veneer. It's white oak. I've actually never worked with this before, so this is a new one to me. Pretty much guaranteed to get messy, so I've suited up in my work jacket. Don't, don't. <laughs> you gotta run a whole new coat on both entirely. Okay, take two. This time I have sticks so that that disaster doesn't happen again. <laughs> Are you liking that one? Okay, the wood's finally dry. I have for my sticks to not stick. Whole goal is to get the piece lined up so that it doesn't come out misaligned. Oh, okay. Oh, shucks. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Just getting ridiculous. Oh my god. Thank god. What? Almost perfect. But of course, I'll fix it though. I always like to sand the edges before I attach the pieces because I won't be able to reach this edge after. This is the final product for the end of today. Tomorrow I'm just going to tie up some loose ends and I'll see you then. <laughs> what? Why'd you... Oh my I'm god. I'm asking you why you leave things out. What? I finally got down here for today and my veneer is absolutely destroyed. This was a slap in the face because I'm gonna have to take everything apart. I'm gonna at least test fit this to make sure it fits. This might be kind of hard to get in there. cabinet fits. Oh, geez, you're the bad news is I do indeed need to rebuild that back piece which is going to eat up a good chunk of time. Wait. I'm a little scared. Oh okay so unfortunate. I finally rebuilt my cabinet and this time it's even better. Now I have to apply the edge banding to cover up the plywood edge. Now it's time to 
get my first look at the polyurethane. I'm hoping it doesn't change the color too much because I like to keep it nice and light. While I'm waiting for coat number two to dry, we're gonna go check on what Lucas is working on. Doing? What are you working on? <laughs> oh, gee. Putting on the top coat for this roaming play door panel. Wow. Those door panels that he's working on are gonna go right here and right here. They are going to match his rear walls. I'm sure you guys have been curious whose van that is. It's not mine, it's his. I've got the bad spot as we call it, but the cool thing about it is I get this beautiful bamboo forest. Polyurethane's finally dry, so it's time to pop this in place. Hopefully I can pull this off on my own. Whoa. You can see the gap right here, which I was not anticipating. Oh, thank God. My concern is that this cabinet spanning here needs to line up on the bottom. <sighs> now it's time to adjust. Little to no reference points, not even my floor because that's not level. There's a furring strip behind here, so I'm just gonna drill right into that. If you were ever curious how strong these cabinets are, well, I have four screws holding this in right now. I love it. Oh my God, this is amazing. I don't know why nobody does cabinets like this. And it doesn't even block the sight line through the window. So guys, that is all for today. I'm super excited about what I got done, if you can't tell. I'm gonna leave you all with some footage of my progress so far. If you like my videos and wanna follow along, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.